Trevor, a uh, two-goal performance for yourself tonight. How did you feel about uh, your game and your line here this evening? Yeah, I thought we were all right. Um, I think we can definitely be better still, but, uh, you know, it was better than the last couple games we've had, so I think uh, it was improved. But I think just little things like winning battles and making sure we're always in the offensive zone getting pucks deep, uh, I think will help us a lot. It seems hard to think that it could improve, but how do you feel about the chemistry that you've created already with Seth and Byron? That line has really been clicking so far the last couple of weeks. Yeah, I mean, they're really good players. They're both uh, NHL players. They've been there, so it's something that is awesome for me. I get to learn from them, and uh, I'm just fortunate to be out there playing with them. Start of a four-game homestand here tonight. How much is it discussed about this being an opportunity to put some wins together and, and move up in the standings? Yeah, we know this is a, kind of a pivotal time for us. We know that. Um, if we put some wins together, we're going to secure a playoff spot. So it's it's pretty important for us right now. Special teams always important. You guys two for four on the power play, five for six on the penalty kill. What did you see out of those units tonight? I mean, I thought we were pretty good um, on both sides. Uh, I didn't really look at the penalty kill as much, but I know our power play was pretty good. I uh, got a little more sloppy toward the end, so um, room to improve for sure. Been on quite a run offensively lately, but what's been working for you in particular? Um, I don't know. I mean, just kind of making it a point to get to the net front and get to the more dirty areas. Um, also. You know, playing with those guys help. <laughs> Griffith's a pretty good passer, and Byron puts the puck in the net, so, I mean, it's, a, it's nice to play with them. How do you feel like Seth's been adjusting since coming onto the team sort of midway through the season there? I mean, great. Uh, he's a good guy. Everybody seems to like him. You know, um, he fits in well, and I think that's a big thing for uh, it translate, uh, translates on the ice well. Everybody likes him, so it's good. A lot of your teammates have been talking about how the club is playing with more confidence lately. Do you feel like that's translating into more wins you've been able to put together lately? Oh, for sure. I mean, for myself, I know that I've been more confident lately, and it's just something that, you know, the more wins you get, the more confident you get, the more confident you get, the more wins you get, right? So, um, yeah, it's been good. How are you handling this busy schedule? You had a three and three last weekend. You've got three and four days this weekend. You've got lots of games going on. Uh, what does that take a toll on you, or how do you handle it? I mean, coming from college is definitely an adjustment. You know, um, play two games a weekend in college, so it's a lot different. But you have a lot of time here. You know, you can take care of your body. Uh, the organization has training staff available all the time to get work done. So it's uh, it, it's it's good. It's just taking it day by day. Other than the difference in the schedule, what's been the biggest adjustments for you coming from college to your first AHL season? I think just constant pressure, you know, everybody's faster, there's not as much space, um, but you know, I think it's, uh, it's been an adjustment, but I'm getting there.